doing? Wow! Take a sip of my... Oh! <laughs> Your one is so deep, but just you can't even hear. It's like one hertz. Is that a Starbucks milk I see? Oh, it is a Starbucks. Fuck. Beyond <laughs> You can do it. You can do it. You've done it before. You can do the throaties. You're the throat goat. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hamburger cheeseburger big mag whopper? Hamburger cheeseburger big mag whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger big mag whopper. Yes. Yes. Brindier. The, sp the, pa the spice power in the. There's is power it, in the uh, spice. The if men have spice, spice, they have power. Nobody else can have spice. If you have spice, you might be a Spice Girl. Spice Girl's oh. back. All right. <laughs> spice <laughs> Girl's back. All right. All right. Bruv. In it, yeah. Because they're British. Because <laughs> they're British, yeah. They're the British band. Little the bit girls, of British. And you're like, oh, I'm sporty. Well... Oh, I'm scary, which I think well, is kind of fucked up that they made the black girl Scary Spice. Do you I don't think know if she had much names? I hope she came up with her own name and they weren't just like, they put them in a row and they're like, you, you're the scary one. Mm. You, you're Ginger. <laughs> what? Yeah, wait, hold on. I can name them all. There's five, right? Yes. Scary, sporty, posh. Wait, I just scary, said one. Sporty. Posh, ginger, yep. spice, and did I say posh? I already said posh. You already said and, posh. And and don't blonde. tell me, blonde spice. No, <laughs> you can't have a ginger spice and a blonde spice. Hold on, wait. Uh, who who done it? Uh, <laughs> creepy spice. <laughs> no, that's scary spice. Crawly spice. <laughs> We should come mm. up with our own new Spice Girls. <laughs> Cinnamon. Ooh. Do you think that's why oh. they called their Ginger Spice? Because it was like, oh, Ginger Spice sounds funny. Wait, is and it Cinnamon redhead. Spice? No! Wait, who's the last one? Baby Spice. Oh, Baby. How did I forget Baby Spice? Nobody puts Baby in a corner. Uh, who would who would your, if you reinvent the Spice Girls? Who would my five spices be? Yeah. <laughs> Blossom, <laughs> Bubbles, Buttercup. <laughs> yes! Do, do, they are the Spice Girls! <laughs> do, do, they kick Mojo your ass! Mojo Dojo Spice. <laughs> I would have Void. That would be one uh -huh. of them. Okay. Void Spice. Void Spice? Yeah. I would have Gamer. Gamer Spice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Void spice, gamer spice. I would have non-denominational spice, so everyone could partake spice. and uh, have fun. Uh huh. Non-denominational spice. I would have. What's the opposite of scary? Uh. Oh. Hap what is the opposite of scary? Not scary. Uh, not uh. Hap ha happy Adam? spice. Hap happy wheels. <laughs> um, happy go lucky spice. What is Speed the opposite is key of spice? Billy what is spice? the opposite of scary? What is the opposite of scary? I'm gonna have to ask Jamie on this one. I, I would, I would only think of happy. Yeah, calming or soothing. I guess soothing Camp? spice, Ooh, soothing spice, and then old spice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just Terry Crews. <laughs> Old Spice is so funny. <laughs> Old Spice. Well, we had Baby Spice, so you got to go the opposite of that. Uh, that's so good. Old Who would spice. yours be? I love that. Wrinkly Spice. Ooh, Wrinkle Spice. I like that. Um, Moist Spice. Ooh. Um, These are good. Let's see. Groggy Spice. You know you're just naming dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sleepy, dopey, <laughs> happy. Uh, uh, shitty spice. Oh, has to be one. yeah. You gotta have shitty one that everyone Wait. hates. So what did I? What did I say? I think Wrinkly. You said three. Moist, uh, groggy. Hmm. <sighs> Man, what's hot what's spice? A good hot ones. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Sean Evans spice. <laughs> <laughs> Chili flake spice. 
<laughs> Sean Evans Spice. Not, not the, la- the last one needs to be really profound. Mm. Right? Spice of life mm. spice. Ooh, that's good. Oh, you could have them be variety, variety spice, and then they are the spice of life. Oh, <gasps> I like that variety spice. Mm. Mm-hmm. And they just come like out that. like different every single time. It's like Sporty Spice always comes out in like a tracksuit with a football and a hat backwards. Shout out. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you want Shout Variety out, Spice hats. to come out like <laughs> Variety Spice comes out as like, I'm a clown. I'm a mime. Now I'm a lawyer. Now I'm a barista, so you know? And then Moist Spice comes out and it's just a little sweaty. Sop and wet every What's time. What's Old Spice come out like? Terry Crews. It, it's just Terry Crews? <laughs> yeah. Pa, 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 Is he pa, on a pa, horse? Pa, pa, power. Oh, yeah. What happened to the other guy they had? The guy who was on the horse? He was in It, Chapter 2. <laughs> he was? He's, um, Mikey. He's oh. the older version of him, I think. Wait, he was the Old Spice guy? Yeah, because he, he's an ex-football player, and I remember looking him up. I thought the same thing, and I was like, that's him? He looks very different, and he wasn't on a horse. Oh. Wow. I can't, Hello, I don't recognize him when he's not on a horse. We were watching something the other day. <sighs> Shocker. Um, You're and they were suddenly to... blue. Oh, is Malcolm in the middle? Bam! Blue. Now I'm not. Now I'm blue. Whoa. Dabba D. Uh, now Dabba die. <laughs> we were watch, I was watching Malcolm in the Middle, and have you ever seen Terry Tate, the office linebacker? No. Oh, you would love it. Oh my god, it's so good. It's a guy who's an, a linebacker from football, but he's just mm-hmm. in an office trying to get people to do their shit. So it's like, he just tackles people in the office. He's like, <laughs> I can't even remember what he says. He's like, you're not supposed to steal pens, Richard! <laughs> it's very good. You should look it up, but he was in that. He was in Malcolm in the Middle? Yeah. And I saw him and I or was like, who the was, fuck is that guy? Or that was a bit in Malcolm in the Middle. No, he was in Malcolm in the Middle, but he was basically the same thing. He, I think he's an ex-football player in real life. Mm. What's the worst place to play football, do you think? <laughs> the moon. You'd lose your ball. Oh, man. Tom Brady would throw crazy balls up there on the moon. Do you think, because they play golf on the moon. Well, they played golf. It, he, like, he brought Did up a they? golf club and he like, isn't there like a picture of someone with a golf club? Maybe that was just a picture we had well, that was making fun of Well, that's if you believe it. the moon landing is real. All it right? is. It is. We're not, lasers We're not and, opening our fan base to conspiracy you know, nut jobs. Uh, Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Or something. Like, it's a slippy slope. What happened at the Dyatlov Pass incident? Oh. Vaccines. Vaccines Diallo, happen. Wait, did the Dialog Pat, did they eat each other? No, I can't remember. I think Let Me Know has a good video on it, but it was basically like a whole Let bunch of know. like, a whole bunch of like freak things happened and they tried to walk away from each other and got freaked out and left and stupid. And I listened to Let Me Know's videos to fall asleep. Um, and I, I, I don't know why. I find it soothing, but most of the stuff that he talks about is like kind of creepy and weird. That's the, that is soothing. His voice is very soothing. His voice is soothing, but the one that like freaks me out a little bit, and I don't know why it freaks me out. It just like gives me the jitters. Is uh, DB Cooper yeah. listening to stuff about DB Cooper? Like, kind of freaks me out for some reason. Or He's encrypted like, he for sure at this point. Where did he go? It's like How behind did they not in know? all those pictures where Slenderman is watching children. DB Cooper's right behind him. Oh, do you think DB Cooper? And he's like coming out of an airplane. He's actually in every picture he's base jumping. (laughs) It's just crazy though. Money coming out behind him. They found money ten years later. On a random beach. How did it get there? I it I think it's DB Cooper (gasps) is more fascinating because we're looking back with modern sensibilities on something Mm. that is older. Like getting onto a plane with a gun or or a parachute or something was way easier back in the day. Mm. So by the time he was on it, like you could get away with a lot of shit on a plane. And if you have any experience jumping, then it's like it's probably not that crazy. Plus, I used to think Maybe this is me being stupid. I used to think like when a plane went up into the air and it pressurized and you're 25,000 feet in the air, like if a bit of that plane malfunctioned, like a spaceship, Uh like if a crack happened, 
or the window broke, like everything's fucked. You're all dead. Yeah. The sight, maybe too many movies. The sight of it's just gonna rip off. But then, wasn't there videos recently of like a whole chunk of plane that broke yeah. off? Fucking Boeing. Yeah, like a door. Boeing a door are going through it right now, and the guy quit because <laughs> all their shit was made poorly. Great League! What's up, leakers? It's me, coming to you live from my car. And you may think, Ethan, you seem very safe inside your car, but you would be wrong. Why? Because I am out in the open, unprotected. Anyone can come over here and just take my personal information right from under me, and I would never be able to do anything about it. Until NordVPN. NordVPN is our excellent sponsor and our excellent VPN service that we love and use. With NordVPN, you can change your location and change your IP address so that nobody can track your stuff. One second you're in the US, the next second you're in the UK, the next second you're in Japan, you're all over the place, they can't even find you. But not only can you use NordVPN to protect your information and keep the criminals out, but you can also use it to your benefit. If you want to watch a show but it's only available on UK Netflix, you can just change your location to the UK using their VPN and now you can watch new UK Netflix. If you want to watch some sweet anime and it's only available in Japan, boom, you're in Japan, now you can have access to that information. It even works with flights. You can change your location to the place that you're traveling to and buy your tickets from there and uh, you can get discounts with it. So if you'd like to take advantage of NordVPN and use their wonderful service and keep your information safe, you can go to nordvpn.com slash brain. That's nordvpn.com slash brain. Keep yourself safe from the creepiest criminals and be sexy as hell with NordVPN. Great League! Didn't a guy get sucked out of the plane? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm not fact-checking any of this, and I did say I didn't want to open it up to conspiracy theorists, but I'm pretty sure he was sucked out of the plane. I think QAnon <laughs> actually got him out of the plane. He got if scared of a vaccinated baby and then he was like I'm jumping <laughs> <laughs> okay if DB Cooper was a YouTuber who would it be like Logan DB Paul. Cooper uh, Logan Paul DB Cooper already does did his an thing. ad Logan Paul already did an ad for Prime jumping out of a plane that's true but maybe you know maybe DB Cooper doesn't really like jumping out of planes maybe he just did it out of desperation Ooh. Then he's someone like Ryan Trahan then, who's like doing mm. challenges. Or like <gasps> somebody who's like, That's I why he's doing all those penny things, because he's trying to spend the money without people catching on. Yep. One video at a time, baby. Whoa. He went to the Super Bowl recently with his dad as an alibi. He's like, couldn't have been <sighs> me 30, 40 years ago jumping out of a plane. I wasn't born. I was at the Super Bowl with my dad. I was at the Super Bowl with my dad. Yeah, I saw Taylor Swift on the news on my phone. <laughs> she was in the stadium somewhere, but I didn't see her. Do you think we'll ever find out who he was? I mean, it does. Does it matter? <laughs> I guess <laughs> because I, he's still just gonna be a guy. Yeah, it's like yeah, I was DB Cooper, and then it's like, oh, but your name is like Derek Bo Derek. <laughs> <laughs> what is what does yes. DB stand for? It better uh, be something cool. The boys, Cooper. <laughs> yeah, uh, or like devil worshipper. Uh, this is the plane ticket hijacker DB Cooper brought under the name Dan Cooper for his flight to Seattle. Dan Cooper, that's a guy who like coaches little league. Dan Cooper. You know what I learned? Also, I can't remember if I. Had Talked about this on the podcast already. Yes, you know how whales are, are mammals. <laughs> oh shit! You know how they do, um, uh, like police sketches and stuff of people. Yeah, I used to think for a very long time that it was just someone being like, "Yeah, they had blue eyes and they blah 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 blah." But what they do? Wait, what how is they it? Do it? They they present I. Uh, from what I have learned recently, maybe this is not true. I don't know. No, but internet, I come down on him pretty hard for this one. Yeah, come down on me real hard for this. Uh, they give them like a folder of like different ears, different eyes, different eyebrows, oh. different facial, like a like character presets, like a ransom note. 
Yeah, no, but they just give them like a bunch of different uh, like sets of ears and stuff, and they're like, to the best of your ability, like match what this person's like ears looked like from your memory from this list of a bunch of different ears and then Ma'am, a bunch of different face shapes. I get it. Your husband was killed, but if you want to do arts and crafts for us, that would be <laughs> awesome. I hope it's a binder really that has great. like splits in it. So it's like all the heads you can go through one by one. And then there, it's like a ring binder with like eyes or a separate little tab. <laughs> that would be so cool. That would be so fun. I want to be- figure out who murdered people. Right? I want to just make a... I just want to make a man. I just want to make a little guy. <laughs> I just want to make a little guy. That's what we do so for cool. YouTube anyway. You play Fallout, you play something. It's like, ah, oh, that's mm-hmm. that's him. I want to make D.B. Cooper in Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> D.B. Cooper killed the Elden Beast. He is Elden Lord. Man. You know what we should do, Sean? We should, we should go and uh, do a video with a police sketch artist, and you can make... You can describe Bonk to them. Oh, he looks like every no. milk drinker you've ever thought of. <laughs> I I would be terrible at that. I think about that a lot. Like, <laughs> I, That's such an accurate description <laughs> of that character. He's just a giant baby. I mm. think about that a lot. Like I'm good at, like we'll walk around the park or something and I'll mm-hmm. be like, oh, we saw that person before. Like I just take track of everybody in a room or around me all the time. But when it came to the sketch, I'd be like, yeah, he was, he was like this. Like, can you just guys just get in my head and see him? Like he in my had, head, he's uh, perfect. But it's like, what kind of nose did he have? Like a human nose. <laughs> yeah. Was it big? I mean, I don't know. It's subjective. Compared to Isn't what? It? Like the rest of his <laughs> face? Compared to mine? Compared to mine, I can't even see mine. Your my brain cuts it out. <laughs> Dude, isn't that crazy? You'll never be able to look at yourself in real life. I want to. I want to try a true mirror. Have you ever tried one of those? No, I haven't. I mean, you can do it on your phone, can't you? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> <Can you? laughs> it's just a flip of. Well, people say that it's, it's weird. Just a that, horizontal flip, right? Yeah. Well, people say it's weird to actually like see it in. Like on a, because the phone is like pixelated, so it's not like one to one. How does the reverse mirror work? Magnus. Is it actually a mirror or is it? Hold on. Jamie, please. How does <laughs> Kill <it> me. Re- <laughs> reverse Jamie, mirror please pull up the revolver. <laughs> uh, d- that's a good no. question, because I don't know. How does a true mirror work? There's a lot of things uh, I don't know. Uh, don't say it. Don't tell me it appears to be. Tell me what it is. Yeah, not hmm. what it isn't. It appears to be two flat mirrors mounted with a 90 degree angle between them, forming a V shape where the center is further from your face than the edges. Light from your face or any other object is reflected towards the box containing the true mirror and hits one mirror first reflected towards the other mirror, which reflects the second mirror and heads back to your eyes. What? This sounds like (laughs) something that I could have just improv to you. It's like, uh, how does the true mirror work? Reflections. Duh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, I remember looking up like... (laughs) I remember looking up... (laughs) Why does my pee smell after eating asparagus? And then I got the answer, and I was like, there's a chemical in asparagus that makes your pee smell. And I'm like, what did I expect them to say? <laughs> did I expect yeah. them to say that there's, like, little men in the asparagus that when you eat it, they manufacture smelly pee to make you know, <laughs> you ate asparagus today. <laughs> that, that was it. There's a chemical in it that makes your pee smell. When you think about it, you know, in your in your body, all the cells and stuff, they could just be tiny little guys. They could be telling around. you lies. You might not even be real. That's true. Do you ever walk down the street not. and you're like looking at other people and you're like, wow, I wish I was them. But you <laughs> see them and you're thinking, they all just have their own lives. Everybody mm-hmm. has their own existence. We walked by some guy who was like all clad in leather. He had a really cool haircut. He wasn't like a punk rocker or anything. It's hard to describe what he looked like. But you knew that he was the main character who like created a character. Mm. He was on his way to the cutscene. And we were just NPCs Mm. like walking around. I was like, he gets to be main character today, not me. Damn. 
I was watching an interview with Florence Pugh the other day. I don't remember what prompted this answer from her, but she was like, when I sit down at a restaurant, I always look at the cutlery and I think about all of the people who have used it and not in like a gross way, but like, what were they, uh, like, what was their meal about? Were they celebrating something? Like, Whoa. did they have a good meal? Were they eating alone? I had never thought about that That's before. like the time we went for lunch one time in L.A. and Aquafina was there. And she was just sitting on her own with a dog. And she looked so sad. And then I was like, she probably doesn't look sad. That's just how she looks when she's not in a movie. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, how many people see me out and about and they're like, why does he look sad? He's Meanwhile, so... I'm just like, I really like a donut right now. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Do you think I'll finish my book today? <laughs> wow. <laughs> But it's like that, just isn't that crazy? Resting dumbass yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> just like I saw Sean out in the in the wild today, and he it really looked like he couldn't read. <laughs> it looked like he was constipated. I wonder <laughs> if he had enough fiber that day. I had a dream the other night that I pooped in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and Speaking then you woke up. Fiber. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler. Pooped my pants. I started writing down my dreams. Uh, that one's a banger to write down. I don't know. <laughs> it's like just a massive paragraph I'm... about the meaning of life, and then right under that, poop pants. <laughs> <laughs> Pooped pants. No, I, I'll tell you the dream, all right? I'll tell you the dream. So listen. Picture this, right? I'm in sure. a house. There's a bunch of people there. Wait, you lost there's me. A <laughs> there's a staircase leading up to the bathroom. Okay. I'm trying to get up there and then suddenly poop in, in my pants. Okay. But then I'm walking up the stairs, but I'm holding the poop in <laughs> in my Ooh. pants. <laughs> like, like uh, my hand is out of my pants. It's not in my pants. Yeah, but I'm, scooping out your I'm old just... poop. Who would ever do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm making sure my poop doesn't fall down my pant leg. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, any dream analysts out there, what does this mean? That was the whole dream, uh, by the way. Am I afraid of losing something? <laughs> yes. That what I can't hold about? on to my life. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this about? Hmm? I don't know. Did you have to I poop when you woke up? Did you have to poop before you slept? What's happening? No, I just had poop in my pants. <laughs> hmm. What do you, do you think that dreams are? What do you think they mean, Sean? Do you think it's wish fulfillment? Do you think that they, are they're signs of things to come or regrets from the past? I think my brain doesn't know what to make out from what's going on. I had, I had two dreams the other night. One, I got stabbed. Mm. And another one, I got chased. So you tell me, is that wish fulfillment? All right, what does it mean when I get stabbed in my dream? I think I just have a lot of anxiety and depression, and my brain is like, I don't know what to do with that. Here, you watched a movie about a stab. Oh, possible meanings. Would you like to learn? I would like to learn about the stabbing. This is from uh, a dream website. Possible meaning. This dream symbolizes betrayal, vulnerability, and feeling attacked by someone close to you. It also represents a fear of being hurt or losing control. Ooh. It's a warning to be cautious of those around you and to trust your instincts. Being... And then <laughs> right under that is a thing to get matched with somebody on better help. <laughs> <laughs> I think the betrayal and, like, fear of losing control stuff probably hits a bit home. Mm -hmm. But yeah. also, don't a lot of people just feel that? I feel like it's uh, like tarot card readings control? where it's like you get your own meaning out of it. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, you're feeling trapped in something and you want to explore new things. And it's like, that's just human nature. Like, everyone yeah. kind of feels that. What was, the, what, what was the other thing that happened in your dream? I got chased. What does it mean when I get chased? I'm telling you, it's just you have a lot of anxiety. Deal with it. Which I do. Being chased in a dream can be a manifestation of fear and anxiety. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shocker. I'm medicated for depression and anxiety. Turns out my dreams reflect that. Wow. But what does my poop pants mean? <laughs> I Did you get to see the poop in the dream? Did you make no. it to the bathroom? No, no, no. There you go. 
It's about life slipping through it's your fingers and you not making what you, it's not getting to the goal you want to get to. Oh. You have a goal you want to achieve. You have ambitions, like mm. a poop that you wish to deposit in a toilet, but you <laughs> can't do it. Why? Maybe you're afraid you've peaked already, that you've already pooped. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <you're laughs> you can't make it to the bathroom. What if there's no bathroom out there for you, you know? Man. This is crazy. Your poop is your dreams and you've shit them into your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll never make it to the toilet to see them fulfilled. But, but but is it truly fulfillment if I'm flushing them away at the end? Yeah, because you, they have fulfilled their purpose. <gasps> they are where they need to be. Circle of Damn. life, everything is poop. Damn. You remember that Scrubs Damn. episode? Everything comes down to poop. From the top of your head to the sole of your shoe, we can figure out what's wrong with you by looking at your poo. Woo! Turk, do you have a hemorrhoid? Or I had I know the whole song. Yeah, you were. <laughs> we were talking about it last time how you wanted to see if I got to the musical episode. I did. Uh, you went to the musical episode. I did. Ah, uh, did I you go further in than I remembered? When is it? It's like season six, season five. Hmm. Hmm. I know, I blasted through a lot of them pretty quick. And now you're here. Yep. Also, what have you learned? I got a new tattoo. Ah! <gasps> oh, when did you do that? Yesterday. That's sick. It's a light what bulb. What does it mean? I got what it, is that? I got it from my dad. Because he worked That's in an sick. electrical company. And I was like, I want to get something to like represent him and his life. And I was like, That's I could cool. get his initials or something. But then I was like... No, because then you have to like know what it is. But if it's just a light bulb, then it's yeah. fine. And I was like, if people don't know what it is, I'll just say my bicep has a bright idea. And then my tattoo <laughs> artist said, it's your brain and your brawn together. And I was like, oh, that's way <gasps> better than what I just said. And mine was a banger. <laughs> that's sick. That looks awesome. Thanks. I like that. It is hurt it, real bad. Is it uh, just black and gray or is it yeah. color as well? He had nice. sketches with color, and I was like, I don't think I want any color. I like the, yeah. the black and gray. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's the first tattoo you've gotten in a while. Yeah, since the My Boys, which I always forget Man. I have because I can't see it. Uh, to here. To here. Right there. To there. Right to there. everywhere. My to boys. Everywhere. How long did it take, that tattoo? Like a half hour. Ah. Uh. Easy peasy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Our boy and, Justin, which uh, you listeners know if you've if you've if you watched every the, episode. my best friend episode. Yeah. He would be there in that episode. And if you bitch. haven't seen it, you should watch it. Yeah, bitch. But he, he's getting a back piece done right now. Mm. And it's five sessions. I think he has one more session to go. But each of the sessions is like four to five hours. Yeah. And that seems um, miserable. Yeah, and he got numbing cream to do it. Every time he talks to Evelyn mm. about it, he's like, how did you do it without numbing cream? And she's like, I don't know, I'm not a little bitch. <laughs> uh, the guy, the, the tattoo artist is making him use numbing cream. That's true. It's like, you you have to. You have but he said to it still this. hurt like a bitch. And every time I yeah. talk to Evelyn about her back piece, she's like, yeah, it fucking hurt a lot. And I'm like, you don't ever show that. <laughs> she's like, no, I Evelyn wanted the tattoo. seems to have a very high pain tolerance. Yeah. How many Every sessions was that? Five? <sighs> Maybe? She split it up into more. She could have done more at each one, but mm -hmm. you don't want you don't want to like die. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I ever want to go through that much pain. I don't want anything on my chest or my back. My pussy so or my crack. Mm, what about your neck? Mm, mm. That's kind of with my back. Kind of and your there. chest a little bit. Yeah. All right, but if you had to get a full back piece, what would you get? Mm -hmm. I would get the inside of my body. I would get over oh. my ribs. It would be my skeleton. So oh, uh, from that the back, kind of cool. From the back, it would look like you're seeing through me, like an X-ray. That would be kind of sick. That actually. would be kind of sick. And I just came up with that, and now I'm like, fuck. Now I kind of want that. No, I don't. I don't want it. I don't want my whole back covered. It would be painful. That would hurt so bad. Even this one, I'm like, 
It, this is probably That's the most a little sensitive spot. Yeah, this is probably the most painful one I've gotten. But it was so quick, and then I'm like, "Yep, that's good." But there was a couple of moments where I was like, "It doesn't. It's not like unbearable, but it's like, how I asked for this to happen." Yeah, this I is paid my money fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm to paying to get pain. hurt. Did Evelyn get more tattoos while you were there? No, she did get a zombie koi on her calf recently. Ooh, zombie koi. Yeah, but we want to. She's running out of space. That one. Yeah, she's gonna get all her legs done. Eventually. Eh, she's got plenty of space. She hasn't gone to the she? face tattoos yet. Uh, she should say, Sean's woman. <laughs> right on her face. <laughs> and then Are after you going to get I'll, that too? I'll start calling her Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Posty. Hey, what up, Give Post? me a kiss. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Give me a smooch, please. Um, yeah, I want to get more... I want to get something else, like, in the arrival tattoo, like something in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. I want to get, he drew up my little frog cowboy that I've been thinking of. And Your I little thought, frog cowboy? Yeah, I don't know why someday I was like, I wanted, like, a frog, but I wanted, like, a doofy one that was, like, a human. And I was like, why is it? Because oh. I keep using the, like, the little cowboy hat emote yeah. or, like, emoji on my phone. So I'm like, I want a little frog cowboy. Like, he's just like nude, but he has like boots, a vest, and a hat. <laughs> That's cute. I love that. Is he is he riding a horse or anything? No, or he's just squirrel? standing. He's just standing there, kind of drooling. <laughs> standing in the doorway. He's like, That's it. I I really like the idea of a little little frog boy. Little yeah, frog cowboy. I want to get some that. skeletons. I want to mm -hmm. get. I'm going to get one that, to me, represents depression. Which is just me Ooh. with my hands over my eyes and my brain is, like, melting up into liquid. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know why that, to me, represents depression. What What does depression look like to you? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. I... I've started drawing stuff a little bit more mm. uh, in in therapy. Whenever I go into therapy on Wednesday mornings, my uh, my therapist has all my little tools laid out for me. She has <laughs> my my, my, my <laughs> yes, my teeny tiny hammer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she has a whiteboard and some markers for me to draw things, and then mm. she has my emotion wheel, which Evelyn told me to get. Yeah, which her therapist told her to get. So, yeah, from therapist to student to student to therapist. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's been very helpful. Um, yeah, and so a lot of the times my therapist will be like, "Draw how you're feeling." <clears throat> um, I think depression kind of feels like I've drawn it before, where you're just kind of like floating in an endless ocean. Hmm. But you're you're just treading water, struggling to stay afloat. Yeah. But the the ocean is so big and so vast that there's very little hope. To I was get. gonna say, do you see land at all in your image? But no, mm. no land. So oftentimes it's like you know, what's the point of keep treading water? You're not gonna get anywhere. You're just gonna drown anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Somebody else I was talking to recently said that it felt like sand in their hands, that they could never like keep it all in their hands. And they were like, oh, trying to like catch it all the time. And I was like, that's a good one. That's interesting. Yeah. I kind of like that. Anyway, I kind of like that. For me, it just what feels like my head. What does sound like to you, audience? It just feels like my head is melting. And I can't do anything. It's all it's all my thoughts and all my ideas like leaving my brain and none of them ever stay inside me. You know what it kind of feels like also is the feeling of um like when you're about to cry but you're not crying yet. Yeah. The like the like pressure. I was trying to think of there's some actress that I remember who was like that. Like every time they talked, I was like, Are you about to burst into tears? I can't think of who it is now, but yeah, it's like that. Mm-hmm. It's the, you know what it is? It's that meme where it's like the happy face mask and the guy underneath it is like <laughs> he's crying. Crying. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah. 
that's true. It's the rage face of like a troll face. That's depression mm. to me. It's gonna nah, be troll that's face. That's depression, baby. Oh, you should. You could fit that right in the arrival thing. <laughs> Get that as a back piece. Oh, the whole troll face. Head. And if you piss somebody off, you just take it off and you say, you mad, bro? <laughs> Look at my back. Idiot. When you when you yell at me, this is who you're being mean to. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. Or you see a, a girl across the bar and you pull down your chest tattoo. It's just me gusta. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> God, what up? I'm so glad. Well, I'm glad that we're out of that meme phase, but I do miss it a little bit, mm. you know? We've, do you miss we've, it or do you miss who you were when it happened? Dude, so true. So I think I miss who I were. I, I said Back that on I, my iPod touch going on iFunny. <laughs> God damn. I said that on the Anthony Padilla podcast where I was like, yeah. you don't miss who you are. Who, you don't miss the content. You miss who you were back then. And mm-hmm. I was saying it like half joking because I was like, it's so reductive to like boil people's feelings down to that. So many people in the comments were like, that's not true. No, he just fucking changed. He sucks now. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> I'm like, too guys, far. Please. I was just a bad dog. It's just jokes. I was just joking around and now like, you hurt my feelings really oh, bad. Oh, these 15 year olds. <laughs> oh. yeah, beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> from the top rope, bitch. Yeah. You're yeah. just crying from the top rope. From the top, top rope. rope. <laughs> very mean to me. Stop very, being very mean. mean. I'm just a guy. I miss I miss the way that the internet was back in those days though I do and I do miss the time yeah uh, a little I do uh, parts of it yeah we weren't as connected as we are now we all know too much about each other yeah which is you it's know, good like you can talk to somebody from across the planet really easy and you can travel easier and we all know a great deal and we're all smarter than we were collectively kind of as back then. But it's also like, I don't want to know this much about this many people. Yeah. It was already hard are. enough going through school where it was like, I need to pay attention to all my friends and all the people in my class. And that was like 20, 30 people. It's like, mm-hmm. I don't want to know more than that. I mean, as humans, I feel like we were, we're not built for that. At no, all. we're supposed to be in a cave with our tribe. Yeah. Bunga bunga. In. Yeah, dude. Just farting and making tools Fucking and stuff shitting and pissing in each other's company yeah dude that's prison yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> i think i think that we should just explode the internet hmm? yeah why not we should get rid blow of it, it up we should blow up the internet we should right? march on congress we to, should march on the up. white house hold on a minute <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm starting we to should see do this. where this okay, problem wait. starts. We should do this in January, all right? In the beginning of January. Maybe yeah. I'm thinking like the, yeah. the fifth of the sixth. The sixth works better for my schedule. It's a cooler actually. number than five. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Put three of them together, devil. Mm-hmm. Put it upside down. Oh. Three nines. That's just cool looking. Oh. Yes. You take one of the sixes. You leave it there. You take another six, flip it upside down. <laughs> 96, no, the age we yes. all want to be when we die. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, dude, that's so true and deep. I know. I Flip it upside no. down, still 96. Is it? Still 96. Or does it actually go to... Wait, No, it's if you, if you flip a nine upside down, it's not a six. It's a... Yeah. It's a D. <laughs> it's a lowercase <laughs> D. Now we're playing D&D, baby. It's a D9. It's a D and You know what it says? It's a dog D- eat dog world. Uh-huh. It's actually a D&D world. Oh, damn, dude. That's deep. Yeah. Fight a dragon. Kill I, a commoner. <laughs> I can't do D&D. And I'm so happy for everyone that enjoys it so much. Wait, you can't but do can't. it or you don't want to do it? Uh, I don't want to. Mm. Yeah. I I can't pay attention. And I there's so much information and it takes so long and you're <sighs> sitting there for like 12 hours. I would like to do a and d campaign if it was just me and the mm. dungeon master. And my friends were all there participating, but they didn't get to say anything or be characters 
<laughs> so uh, explain to me how the participation comes in there. It doesn't. Okay. It, so it's it's because that's a roundabout way of saying that it just takes too long. Like everyone has to know their character. Everyone gets a bit of improv. Everyone, Mm -hmm. and it's great. Like the tiny one I did with Felix and Ken and PJ, and it was awesome. And Ken did a really Mm -hmm. good job. And I still like I have a perfect image of what that place looked like in my head, Mm -hmm. and the journey we went on. What was your character's name? Oh, I don't know actually. Oh, Quagnar. That was it. Quagnar. <laughs> yeah. Because I I remember fight when I watched Game Grumps play Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron calls Father Gascoigne Father Cagniar or something like that. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, I remembered him saying Quagnar. And I was like, that's a funny word. So I would just say Quagnar. Maybe I'll play Bloodborne again. Ooh, you I should. love Bloodborne. I just finished I it should. on my channel. <laughs> if you want any tips. <laughs> yeah. One video. One Six video. hours long or whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you want Speaking any, of... If you want any tips on how to be cool... Just watch that one video. Six yeah. hours long. Don't skip any ads. Please. <laughs> Speaking of one video, Sean, this episode will be up by the time the video comes out. Would you like to talk a little bit about the oh. big old video <laughs> going out ha- Happy on Wheels, Monday? the movie. <laughs> I what am are you so even excited gonna do to for see- a thumbnail? I don't know. I wish it was like, (laughs) this is where AI would actually come in handy, but I hated Mm -hmm. it all my life, where I'd be like, Billy and Bobby from Happy Wheels, even though that's not their names, but like those guys, Uh realistic. Yeah. So like realistic versions of them in Happy Wheels and just have like Happy Wheels the movie plastered over it. Or it's like, there's a couple of those channels that do, like how people would put Vivo underneath stuff for Uh music videos, do that, but like what's the movie equivalent of that? Kino check. Oh, God. Or I have no idea. You rent. should you should see if you can get a thumbnail artist to even if it's just like somebody on Fiverr to do like a a movie poster. Yeah. That would be so cool. It's too late now though. It goes up so soon. Nobody works that no, fast. No, people people on Fiverr do it in like 2 minutes. No, I'm sad now. Oh. I might just do fuck. like the background, Happy Wheels, and then the movie underneath. Mm-hmm. And then when people see that it's 22 hours long. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even have like an intro for it or is it just... It's literally just every episode together. Mm-hmm. And originally uh, Vincent and Trey had put like the intros and outros. Around, so it was just every episode back to back. But mm-hmm. I was like, ah, we could just do it where it's one intro and one outro at the very beginning and the end. And then the whole thing yeah. is like... What's that movie, Boyhood, where you watch a kid grow mm-hmm. up in real time? Yeah. It's like that. It's 100 episodes of watching me grow up over the span of God. like five, seven years. How did, how long did that take to export? I don't know. How big know. was that video? Trey, he said it was only like 70 gigs. So oh, that's not too bad. Trey, Trey did the final render on it after he got Vincent's files together. So I don't know. Damn. That's an Damn. editor's problem. I don't have to think about yeah. that. How many how many episodes is it? 105 or something? We just put the 100 in because I felt like that was funnier. Mm. I think. At least that's what I said. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to watch through that whole thing meticulously? Give it's them like, notes? Yeah, at, at the 14th hour and 56th minute, um, there was an editing mistake. Could you go back in and fix <laughs> is that? It, is it edited? Yeah, it's already like unlisted on my channel, ready to go. No, but I mean, like, did they do any editing other than just putting them all back no, to back? No, 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 no. God, that okay. would be way too much work. God. I, like, on a video be, that's already edited. I, we were talking about that, like, oh, it'd be funny to put them all together as, like, a thing. And it's, like, the ultimate video. And I'm like, ah, that's a bit, like, I don't want to do that. And then somebody mm-hmm. came up with the idea of doing it as an April Fool's joke. And I was like, that we can do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Because we were like, can you upload a video that long? I don't know. And then Trey found a video yeah. that's called a hundred minute a hundred hour countdown and has twenty three oh. million views. Hell yeah. Does it have a cool intro? Like where it's every it starts off with one Happy Wheels intro and then it pans out 
and it's all of the Happy Wheels intros. I thought about doing that, but I was like, I'm already asking you guys to do a 22 hour video. I just like <laughs> minimal editing, just go in and it is it is for April Fools, I guess. Yeah. Really and I'm like, matter. just put it all together. It doesn't have to be good. If it's bad, that's kind of the joke as well. I uh, I am currently taking a break, which I never announced. I just like got off of the internet. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> I was originally going to come back on April 1st, uh, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer because uh, I need more time. Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> someone had a funny idea to come back on April Fool's <laughs> and say that I'm back and then take another month off. <laughs> <laughs> Just like kind of funny. How many um, I'm retiring videos do you think we'll see for April first this year? Oh. Wait, say that again. You got lights. Yeah, those the my lights for my plants. They turn on for a few hours every day. Wow. Um, um, I was saying, how many I'm retiring videos do you think we'll see for April Fools this year? Oh God, so many. That's like the. Every year for YouTubers, it's like Halloween, where it's like, oh, we're going to see a lot of Barbies this year, a lot of mm -hmm. Oppenheimers. It's for YouTubers, it's like on April 1st, what are we going to see? Mm-hmm. It's all, hey, guys, I'm leaving, and I'm never coming back. Ha-ha, <laughs> April Fool joke. And then everyone's like, all the comments are like, yeah, you've been kind of like falling off for a while, so we're happy for you doing this. And that's like, ah, I was joking. Oh, I was, I was joking. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. It's okay. A, I guess the joke is on me. And then everyone in the comments gotta... edits it and says, Oh, wait, no, April Fool's. Oh, God. I uh, I got a comment recently. Let me see if I can find it. That was just like, okay, cool. Th thanks. Where it, uh, it just really hit me in a way. I don't really read comments all that much anymore. Probably mm -hmm. because they make me feel like this sometimes. <laughs> um, come on, come on. Yeah. Your videos are mid these days, and it makes me sad because I know you can do so much better than bottom of the barrel content. Still love you as a person, though. Oh, fuck off. No, you don't. <laughs> Still Thanks. love you as a person, though. It's like saying you're an absolute Thanks. piece of shit 98% of the time. No offense. <laughs> no offense. Yeah, I in saw that fairness. And I, was like, I said okay. in fairness, though. Yeah. It's I... like when somebody makes a racist joke, but they, they prompt it by saying... Listen, I'm not trying to be racist. I you know? was hacked. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was hacked. It's like, you said it out loud in the pub. <laughs> like, yeah, I was hacked. I was, I was hacked, guys. I got the neural link. You guys don't Elon. understand what it means to get your brain hijacked by your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. My brain, really hacked what, my, like, my brain hacked my mind. <laughs> it's like what having a panic attack is. Your, your brain just gets hacked a little bit, you know? <laughs> your brain gets hijacked by something. Yeah. You just As like, spiral out of control. What's so annoying is that your brain knows when... Like, your brain knows that you're anxious. Your brain knows it's having a panic attack, but it's like... Buddy, we just gotta write this one out. It's like, yeah. I have the chemicals to fix this and make you happy. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm sorry. You know, I think our brains need to step it up a little bit. Fucking bitches. Stop being so lazy. You just have one job. Just be happier. My brain's huh? like, you have ADHD. You got dopamine all all fucked up. Your serotonin doesn't work. Can I fix it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's going to cost you? <laughs> yeah. Give me a little Why? something, huh? Fill me Why? full of sugar. <laughs> Why? Why? And it's like that other shit where it's like, all oh, the healthy food doesn't taste as good as the food that's bad for you. Yeah. Even though your that's brain... That's why is I don't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> if God was real, he would have made donuts healthy. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It just doesn't. Make That's sense. because we have free will and the serpent came down and that fucking oh, bitch ate an apple. Man. And everyone was like, why? Because you ate that apple? Great. Now fried chicken is going to make me fat. It's your Dude. fault. Why'd she have to eat the fucking apple? Because the snake How was like. It shit's banging. It's also, also, I feel like 
I feel like they should have made that story a little bit more believable. You're trying to tell me that that apple looked that good? I don't think I've ever seen an apple and have been See, like, I have to have that. That's how you know the Bible's dating itself. Like, how mm -hmm. old it is when an apple seems like the most temptatious thing ever. It's like, yeah, you're telling me they didn't have like a fucking filet mignon, truffle mash... It's like yeah. fucking nice wine over there and they're like, dude, this mm -hmm. shit slaps. Like that should have been yeah. like a prison last meal type of situation. They they could have they could have done it with wine, couldn't they? They could have done it with anything. <sighs> Fuckers. They need to update they need to update <laughs> the Bible. We need a, a Bible patch notes. We do. We really, really do. What and would then your final all this meal shit be, about Sean? like, oh, Adam and Eve. It's like, what about incest? Immediately, if they're supposed to be the progenitors of humans, we found out in an episode ago, it takes 80 people for that to happen. <laughs> we found out in that episode ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. Anyway, Listen. I don't actually really care. I don't want people who are into the Bible and religious to get upset. It's just a joke. It's just some silly funny ha-has. Um, I wanted you to go to your YouTube studio app mm. and you know on like the main page that shows up first you get like the newest comments on random mm -hmm. videos. What is yeah. the most recent comment that you've gotten? Oh nice. This one is on my I baked a cake my, I baked a cake without a recipe for my birthday mm -hmm. um, and it says alcohol plus ADHD equals raw egg yolks for lunch. Okay, are they? That's what they're eating. Uh, well, I think in this one, I started the video off by doing a birthday shot, and then I, uh, I needed egg whites, and so I got the whites out, and then I ate the yolk just by itself in Ugh. the video. I think. Ew. Something like that. How did you do that without gagging? I remember when I was like younger and you were hearing all about like protein and you shouldn't drink raw eggs, by the way. It's very dangerous. Nah. It can yeah. give you salmonella. But I remember back in the day for like protein, like irony kind of stuff, you would do mm -hmm. that. And I remember trying it and it like touched my lips and I went, <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. You know, power of the mind. Whoa, like, desert mm, power. Man, I'm going to. What is yours? It, mine was boring. Mine was just, you know, it's a great day when Jack uploads a chill as art game. Is that a bot comment or is That's that a, a real it's, comment? It's a nice comment, but I'm like, <laughs> I thought my bit would have been funnier. <laughs> Portal 2. A cool little detail is that you can actually see the shed at the very end of the game in that little video. Hmm. Cool. Wow. I was yeah, hoping one of them would be like, man, you suck. Go jump off a uh, cloud. <laughs> uh, one says, we hate Ethan. The algorithm is not on your side. He was here first. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means either. Uh, been a few weeks. Hope you're okay. Nice. Will we return? Hope you're okay. Hmm. This gives me baby's ice cream video vibes. This one says, yeah. hello, anyone watching 2024 on a Kerbal Space Program video. Nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got a nice Mark's Better comment. Love those. Oh, that's nice. Are, those are yeah. always uh, sane. <laughs> yeah. I love them so much. I love being compared to people constantly. It's one of my favorite things about this funny little earth that we live on. Yeah. Isn't it nice and cool? I love it. I love that people can say anything they want about me. But if I say anything back, I'm in trouble. You're the asshole. I like yeah. that people in my personal life have done horrible things to me, but I'm never allowed to say it publicly because it'll cause drama. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to know, though, Sean. Huh? Because we were just talking about uh, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your final meal? What would be your death row meal? I think it is the filet mignon. Yeah, I think it's a big slab of medium rare fillet, mm. maybe slightly more medium. Sometimes I don't like it too pink. Mm -hmm. And then like garlic mash, like puree potatoes, Ooh, Ooh, a really nice 
like crazy expensive bottle of red wine. Mm -hmm. Um, peppercorn sauce. Oh, nice. Yeah, any, I don't know. Any veg? Any veg on the side? I'm dying. I don't care. Well, I'm just asking. I like garlic mushrooms. Ooh, <laughs> garlic yeah. mushrooms. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe yeah. some, maybe some like Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Some people are some like, Brussels? that's your fucking last meal. Are you crazy? <laughs> are you some people, insane? <laughs> you're getting Brussels sprouts for your last meal? What would yours be? Mm. <laughs> big Mac. Big ol', a big ol', no. No, no, no. Just one single Reese's cup. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna so say, you finally... finally have peanut butter, so you go out on your own terms. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, baby. The most painful way possible. Well, I think if it's my last meal, I think I would want... I, I do really like steak a lot. It's mm. really good. It is very, very good. Oh, man. Uh, the reason I like that is because I... That's usually like my first go-to meal if I've been dieting for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you want to blow the doors off? That's my go-to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like those a lot. I'll also do like a mashed potato, but I want sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Mm. So That's good. a good one. So, so good. Um, oh, Man. I mean, it's and looking then, we don't actually have to think about this too hard. I doubt either yeah. of us are going to be on death row. No, but if you were... I... It would be cool... To be able to say, like, well, hold on, let me, let me. Where is this going? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is. It would be cool is, to kill someone and get away with it. No, it would be cool to, well, and it would also be sad, but to be able to be like, I know this is going to be my last meal. For for that to just be a part of death, being like, well, tomorrow you die. Here's hmm. your last meal. You know? Yeah. Would be sad. I would hate but, that. Yeah, it would be a, an anxiety-filled dinner for sure. <laughs> I'm changing my answer. Okay. I don't want steak. I want duck. I, <laughs> I love want duck. human meat. I want human meat. I want to see what it tastes like. I've uh, always I always want wanted duck. It. I've always, you know, you can't say, we've talked about this before. You can't say that you haven't thought about it. Not no, about I've, eating somebody. I've openly but, said, and mm -hmm. people misinterpreted it's whatever. It's 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 a curiosity. Somebody did it's say curious. there's a, there is an ethical way of getting it, and they had like a big long answer, like to get around stuff. And I'm like, how do you know that? There's an ethical way to source human meat. I don't know I, if that's true. I can't remember. I'm I'm not sure about that one. If somebody but just anyway, says, I want you, you can eat me. <laughs> Are you allowed to be like I had it on video? They said I could eat them. I mean, it would be vegan, <laughs> you know? That's true. Uh, I, I think in the, in the court of law, if you die, if there's... I'm, I'm an hmm. organ donor, but to Is a cannibal. <laughs> yeah. How does that work? I don't know. Anyway, white duck. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. I just really like duck a lot. It's very... Hmm. Um, I don't know. It's not as. It's very tender. It's very like juicy. I like the flavor of duck. It's nice. It's a darker meat. Um, yeah, I just I I like it a lot. Have mm. some of that, and then and then for dessert, if it truly is my last meal, I think for dessert, I would like some sort of peanut butter thing. I think I would, just to try it out. Do you know and what peanut butter would... tastes like in your head? Yeah. Mm. Uh, ish. Similar, like I've had peanut butter I guess if alternatives. You've had almond butter. Yeah, they're like fairly similar. Yeah, they're close enough. They're closer than they are farther apart. Um, I think I would have maybe like a Reese's cup or something because I did have a peanut-free Reese's cup. It had almond butter in it, and it was really good. They're pretty fucking was, tasty. You you was, don't know what you're missing, but it was really really good. In fact, I almost want to see if I can get some ordered right now damn. because god damn they're so good i should god do a video where me. i try a bunch of peanut free peanut food 
you know? Is it a peanut-free peanut food if it's just almond? Then it's a Reese's well, almond butter cup. Well, yeah, but you know, it's it's the best that I can get. That's true. I shouldn't be taking trying this away from you. to yuck my yum. I'm just trying to enjoy <laughs> something that everybody else can, and you're saying, "Oh, well, is it really? Well, it's the best I can do." It's that's fair. Fair. Un yuck my yum. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I am just trying to have something nice for myself. And this is it's, the way that I'm That's doing. fair. That's fair. I'm sorry. I'm being a bad friend right now. Yeah. I I hope that you have to sit and watch Happy Wheels the movie. <laughs> the whole thing. How many people do you think are going to legitimately watch the entire thing? Do you think anyone's going to do it in one sitting? Oh, yeah. Somebody. Oh, man. Somebody out there for sure is wild enough to do that. That's I commend crazy. them. Yeah. But it will never be me. <laughs> no, it will not be you. Also, the fact that you. it would be me watching myself for 22 hours, and I don't want to do that. <sighs> Man, that just sounds bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> watching after, you for 22 hours. <laughs> after you have your last meal, that's how they kill you. They just oh, put on man. Happy Wheels the movie. <laughs> Well, Sean, when it's time to do a not April Fool's I'm retiring video, you mm. can do Jack Septicai the movie. And it's and every it. video. Every video. All 5,000 of them. Including Happy Wheels the movie. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought about doing that as well. I was like, I, oh, once I finish Dark Souls 2, put Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 into one video. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I don't know if I want to... Seems a bit desperate. Yeah, that for a not April Fools, you could do that next year for April Fools. Yeah, it's a bit cringe to do it when it's not April Fools. Or you could make up a new April Fools. You know, April, why not April Jewels? When? Well, I, I've never thought about this before. How did April Fools originate? Ooh. <laughs> originate O R I G I N A L T E Original Original April Fool's Day Origins oh, April that's Fool's a Day sick occurring on movie. April 1st <laughs> <laughs> has been celebrated for several centuries by different countries though its exact origin remains a mystery how how April Fool's Day tradition yeah I know it's so specific how did it start uh, Why is it April? Some, some historians speculate that April Fool's Day dates back to 1582 when France switched from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar as called for by the Council of Trent in 1563. Uh, in the Julian calendar, as in the Hindu calendar, the, the new year began with the spring equinox around April 1st. People who were slow to get the news failed to recognize that the start of the new year had actually moved to January 1st and continued uh. to celebrate it during the last week of March through April 1st, uh, becoming the butt of jokes and hoaxes. Would, uh, ugh, be April 1st became the butt of jokes and hoaxes and were called April Fools. So, well, okay. you guys can't claim that because you went into Daylight Savings like three weeks ago. I don't even, and I don't know why daylight savings is different. Not only why it exists, but why is it different for us versus you? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. No. Also, we don't we don't need it anymore because it was made to be like for farmers and stuff because it's like, oh, the sun is rising, so you know we got to dial the time back. Why can't we all just recognize that? During different parts of the year, Recognize. it's the same. <laughs> real recognizes real. <laughs> Why can't we just recognize that sometimes uh, during a different part of the year, the sun's just going to set earlier? It's still four o'clock, but the, yeah. it's just the sun is setting early. I don't understand. We don't need to change the clocks. <laughs> There's a lot of places that don't. They don't participate at all. But... <laughs> that almost disturbs me further. <laughs> because how will I know the true time? Oh, 
God. Yeah, we're just going back and forth a lot. I don't know. Why Although do this we... one is pretty sick, because now it's going to be bright until like 7.30 in a couple of days, <laughs> and I love that. Oh, Let's just keep one true time. Let's just keep going you know? forward an hour until nighttime is daytime. I have... I have an idea. Mm. All right? We get rid of time. Ooh. Okay? And when someone asks the time, we simply say, right now. <sighs> say, excuse me, what time is it? Right now. The present. Oh, I like that. Stop well, worrying so much about the future. Why don't you worry about this moment? Hmm? Hmm? Damn. Uh, you can't be late for anything then. I know. Right? But if you get rid of time, then you have to get rid of space because they're intermingled. Well, I'm just I'm just talking about the time. You know? Uh, the time is a con uh, is a it's it's a concept that we made up. Right? Yeah, it's a construct. Yeah. So why not? That's just true. get rid of it. I like hmm? that. You would have to be some flaming raging douchebag to say <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. Right now, man. Somebody on the street late for a meeting running down being like, excuse me, what time is it? But like, first of all, don't you have a phone? <laughs> also, right now. Right now. Man, speaking of profound things to say, uh, <laughs> Justin was over here the other day and uh, he was he was making some drinks for us and I, I went into the living room and he was in the kitchen and he was like, oh, you're just going to leave me here by myself? And I went, oh, sorry, do you need help? And he said the most profound thing. He said, I don't need help. I need support. <gasps> and I said, wow. Whoa. Wow. Those really are different things. And I knew exactly what he meant. These really are said, the days of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, wow, that is truly profound. So how did that you was support beautiful. him? I went and stood next to him. <laughs> 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 I went and just stood next to him and wow. I went, damn. That's good. I know. Why is he still also yeah. fucked up though? Like why is Justin huh? he's dropping all these nuggets, but then when you ask him like how are things going, he'll be like, eh. Guys <laughs> dropping knowledge like that should be on top of the world. He's dropping so much knowledge. He should be writing so books. He should and be he on could. a he should be on a fucking what's his name? Tony Robbins? Tour? Yeah. Tim Robbins? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Tony. I think his name is Tony Robbins. Tony Robinson. Tim Robinson. Tim Robinson made I Think You Should Leave, yeah. which is a very different kind of tour. I would love that tour. A motivational tour <laughs> that based on be that energy. So funny. You can that's go on, like, you can do it. What time is like, it to do it? Right now is the time to do it. That's like when Tim Heidecker doing his stand-up where, like, the bit is that it's really bad stand-up. <laughs> that is such a clever thing to do because you don't have to do good material. It's so funny and it's so awkward to watch. I love it so much. It's so fucking funny. Wow. Have you watched one of his full um, shows? I haven't. I'll, I'll send one to you. Uh, it's just Tim Heidecker doing stand-up, but it's all very bad and mm. it's a whole character um it's really really funny wow he very um jp who did tour managing for me he does that tour he manages tim heidecker's tour does he uh, That's they came cool. to brighton last year and i had fish and chips with them wow except tim That's had sweet. already eaten and then he left within five minutes of me arriving but he was there mm. <laughs> wow well you know small world small world in it bro this little blue marble that we're on Huh. Man, and it just keeps spinning, don't it? Hmm. Aren't they truly the days of our lives? <laughs> Man, <laughs> so true. Anyway, that's all from us, you milk-drinking puss babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you can be mean enthusiastically. They know it's tough love. Oh, no, I know. I just wasn't sure where I, I was going. Yeah. Hey! I don't have any respect for you. Whoa. And I mean it. Whoa. You never mean it. Hey, I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe me for a second. Okay, thank you, cesspool dwellers. 
Bye, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you see roadkill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brain leak!